excuse me, I'm, I'm, on, I'm on the city council and we're looking at the issue of the transit system. Would it be okay if I ask you a couple questions? Uh, sure. Okay, great. Meet Ben Eisen. He's riding the number 22 through Victoria because he has big plans for the transit system here. Well, what we've done is we eliminated transit fares for people under 19, and now we're thinking about doing that for everyone in the city. That's right. Councillor Isaac wants to make transit free for everybody in Victoria all the time. What do you think of that kind of a policy? Uh, it would make things a lot easier. <laughs> Definitely would. Rent, rent here is really expensive, so it's a little hard to come up with a bus fare sometimes. Sometimes I'd have to like ask a friend for a ride or ask, ask a friend if they have an extra toonie or a, a 50 cents or whatever sometimes, right? More and more people can relate to that. Getting around in Canada isn't cheap. We have some of the highest transit fares in the world. But could the solution really be making it free? Is that even possible? Councillor Isaac sure thinks so. And he says it would help people in many ways. The goal is to remove fares as a barrier to people taking the bus, whether to access employment, to access education or culture, to visit with friends or family. And so I think removing those barriers to mobility is really important. Councillor Isaac already has two victories under his belt. He convinced Victoria to be the first city in the country to make transit free for anyone under 19. And this year he did the same for low-income seniors. Now he wants to go all the way. How do you try to convince people mm. about your idea? The idea comes from the fact that we have thousands of community members with economic need and they're having trouble just getting by. I do a lot of listening and asking them what they think and see what they come up with and then based on that kind of dialogue, either advocate more persuasively or just reflect on what, what the response is. While Councillor Isaac is pushing for free transit to go to a citywide referendum this fall, for now he's going more bus by bus. I mean, I don't have a problem with the pricing, per se, of the bus. I think my biggest issue right now is more the fact that buses are showing up extraordinarily later than they used to. Yeah, so your concerns around the service levels. You know, when your bus shows up 15, 20 minutes late, that sometimes determines whether or not you get in trouble on your job. That's a really good point. <laughs> yes. Canadians depend on public transit every day, and so, yeah, the stakes are high. I think you need to improve your system before you open up the fares. You've got to get more people using it. No, so. it's a good point. Some people wonder whether it's a bit of a chicken and an egg scenario, that if we had more riders, would the public demand the improvements? You've got to have a better system. Mm -hmm. One of the other arguments Councillor Isaac gets is an old one. Taxes. As in they'd have to go up. He estimates going fare free would cost the city ten million dollars. You want transit to be funded just like health care? Yep, through the tax system. That there aren't any financial barriers to people getting on the bus. When you go to the emergency room you don't pay an admission fee. How big a challenge is the fact that you'd have to raise taxes? We raise taxes all the time. I, I, I don't like to do it. I often argue against it. This year we're, we're adding $5 million in taxes just for policing. That $5 million right there is half of the amount we, would, we need to eliminate uh, transit fares in this community. While Victoria has its champion and is the city that's closest to having free transit, the movement has support across the country. Hi there, I'm with Free Transit Ottawa. We're trying to make uh, bus service in the city better and free. This is a main transit hub east of downtown Ottawa, and it's where Nick Grover is trying to drum up support. Hey folks, how's it going today? I'm with Free Transit Ottawa. We're trying to make bus service in the city better and free. People like free transit, they like the idea of it, but it's been it's been talked about so heavily by politicians as something that just isn't feasible or isn't doable. And we're out here to say, well, it actually is. It's, it's much easier than we think. Nick says that taxpayers already pay for about 40% of most transit systems in the country. And the city of Ottawa, he argues, has the money to go fare free. 
It's really a question of priorities. Service in the city better and free. The city spends a lot of money on transportation already, but it all goes to cars. It goes to parking, it goes to urban sprawl, it goes to road widening. Um, that is a lot of millions of dollars, tens of millions of dollars that encourage driving and it could be going to something that helps a lot of people and brings our emissions down and makes life more affordable. Hey folks, how's it going today? Good, yeah. good, good. Any for stealing this? And for Nick, it's because of the environment that he's out here trying to convince people to support his idea. A climate crisis is at our door. We need to be getting people out of cars and onto low carbon, affordable transport. And making it free and making service reliable is how we do that. Um, there's a link to our petition at the QR code. We're basically asking city council to begin making bus service free. So it's affordable, it's accessible. People don't have to use their cars to go everywhere. It's true that people's cars are their single biggest contributor to climate change. And experts say one of the only ways we'll hit our climate targets is if we get more people to ride the bus. And Nick isn't willing to sit on the sidelines and wait for that to happen. I don't want to wake up one day um, in an extreme climate catastrophe and, and worry that I didn't do enough or I didn't do my part. Um, I want to make sure that, you know, me and the people I work with, um, that we do our part to avert climate catastrophe or the worst aspects of it. Um, that's the hope. If you still think that this is a radical idea, consider this. There are about a hundred municipalities around the world that already have free transit. And Councillor Isaac says he won't stop until Victoria is next. I think it's an idea whose time has come. Uh, I think it's an outside the box idea, but I think it's a, a common sense idea that resonates with a lot of the values of our society. Nick Purden, CBC News. Victoria.